Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome back to my Time for a Change collaboration video. Um, I am sorry that I missed the last video but I had just had my baby and he wasn't doing very well. We were in hospital for quite a few days after he was born um, and he just had some issues that we needed to sort out that were a bit more important. So yeah, I'm sorry that I missed last time, but I just wanted to do this week really quickly. I'm doing it very last minute, um, but yeah, I just wanted to get a little update up and um, let you guys know um, that I've changed a few of my goals and... Um, just decided to sort of go at the end goal a little bit differently than I had originally planned. But, yeah. So, before I... Uh, got pregnant I weighed 85 kgs and at the end of my pregnancy the last time I weighed myself before I had my baby I weighed 92 kgs so yeah that was pretty freaky for me because that's the heaviest I have ever been in my whole entire life um, and before that 85 kgs was the heaviest I had ever been before I got pregnant so yeah anything up from there was scary for me um, but anyway when I got out of hospital I weighed myself and I weighed do, 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 I weighed 80 kgs 80.2 uh, kgs so I I had lost like 12 kgs almost um, just from having my son. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, apparently I must have been holding a lot of um, fluid but um, my son was quite heavy. He weighed 9 pound 7 ounces when he was born. So that weight plus placenta plus fluid and all that, um, somehow I ended up lighter than I was when I started. So that was really exciting for me. And then since then I have um, also gone, I have lost some more. And so now I, when I weighed myself this morning, I was 78.8. Eight. so I was really really excited about that um, to be honest I haven't exactly been doing anything crazy to um, get down to that weight um, but I have been trying to sort of just cut down on my meal sizes um, I'm not breastfeeding um, my son is on formula. He's been on formula for about a week now, I think. Um, just due to issues that, that I had. And it was just the best thing for him. So, yeah. So he's on formula. So I'm not breastfeeding. Um, so I have decided that I'm going to change my goals. My goals originally were to cut back right back on sugar and bread um i am still trying to cut back a little bit uh cut back on both of those but i have decided that um cutting them out almost completely is just not something that's um sustainable for me long term so i've decided that i am just going to try and eat healthier all round um, and cut back on portion sizes especially dinner because I feel that dinner is where I usually um, will eat more than I should 
and especially because it is the last meal of the day I don't want to be and I know it's not ideal to be having such a big meal at the end of your day and then sort of going to bed you know with all that food in you um, so yeah I've just decided that all around I'm going to try and eat healthier um, in general but I don't want to be restricting myself to saying that I don't eat sugar or I don't eat bread. I don't want to be going to a party or something and being not being able to eat what's there um, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's just not something that works for me right now. So yeah, that's what I've decided and... I'm hoping that that will um, be able to, uh, along with exercise, obviously, I'm going to start getting into my walking um, next week, hopefully. I'm feeling really good and I, yeah, I feel like I could go for a light walk and be fine, hopefully. So I think that the healthy eating along with um, the walking and exercise will hopefully be able to keep me on the right track down to get down to my goal weight um, of 65 ideally 60 62 would be really really good but um, 65 whew, if I can get to 65 that would be great so yeah that's the goal that's what's happening so far and I will be taking my measurements I don't know if I can find a measuring tape I've been looking for one so that I could put them in the video but I will keep looking and hopefully um, I can put them in the description the description box before the video goes up if not I'll just add them in later on and then I can keep taking my measurements which would be really great so yeah anyway I'm sorry this was sort of just all over the place and rambly and blah but um thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys all go and check out all the other awesome ladies in the collab um, and see how they're going, give them a thumbs up, and say well done, and everything, um, and I will see you guys in our next update, hi guys.